Hello and welcome to a little bit of a different video. As you can see here, I have got every Ninjago minifigure that has some form of Oni mask um, involved, which is why the Crystal King is here. This, the, his headpiece is very reminiscent of an Oni mask, so I thought, why not? Now you probably saw a few, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a short, a YouTube short, um, kind of showing off all of the Oni minifigures. And um, on a community post, I asked if you wanted to see kind of like a full collection type video taking a more in-depth look at all of the minifigures um, for that short and you said yes so um, here we are here is every Ninjago minifigure that features some form of Oni mask and later on we will also take a look at some other minifigures that um, are related to the Oni but don't actually have Oni masks so yeah anyway as you can see we've got from left to right here we've got Kilo, Mr. E, the Crystal King which of course I've just explained that his mask is pretty reminiscent of an Oni so I thought why not Golden Oni Lloyd, Oni Garmadon, Omega, Harumi and Ultraviolet so I guess we should start this off by um, going from newest to oldest I think and of course these are the three most recent Oni minifigures this is the Crystal King who comes in um, the Crystal King Temple, the Crystal King and Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon set, so you can get this guy in three different sets. Garmadon is of course exclusive to the Samurai X mech, and Lloyd the Golden Ultra Dragon. So we'll start with Lloyd here of course, as you can see. And this is a very different type of Oni, because he's now, he's nice and green and golden, which is pretty cool, which kind of I guess shows how he is different to all of the other Oni in that he is not evil. Um, so yeah, obviously we've got the torso and leg printing, which is basically just a regular golden ninja suit that he has. Um, and then the Oni mask on top of that is when he unleashes his actual Oni form, which is a pretty cool mask piece. Uh, really looks good in gold. It's got that nice printing on there where he does look very angry. Underneath that he does just have the regular Lloyd face that we've all seen before. And you can see he does come with the armor piece, which when you take that off, reveals a little bit of printing on the back there. So, yeah, that is Golden Oni Lloyd, definitely one of the um, most expensive of these Oni minifigures online, and uh, definitely a highly sought after minifigure, being released this year, and of course, only exclusive to the most expensive set in the crystallized wave. So after him, we of course come to Oni Garmadon. This is a very cool minifigure, and my personal favorite of this whole lot. Um, so yeah, he's got a kind of, an evil sensei Garmadon robes, I guess is the way to describe that, which is very cool. So it's kind of just like Lord Garmadon, but in actual sensei robes, so that's nice. The Oni mask itself is a massive upgrade from the abomination that was in March of the Oni. Um, so yeah, you can see that Oni face there, where he's got a kind of weird smile going on, where he looks very happy to be, being, to be doing some evil stuff. Again, underneath it is just a face that we have seen before, is the Legacy Garmadon face there. So yeah, it's pretty cool, it doesn't really matter too much, you're not going to see it with the mask on. And then yeah, we've got some pretty cool back detailing, which is reminiscent of Wu's detailing from the same crystallized setway. So yeah, that is Oni Garmadon, my personal favourite, and it's so good that we have finally got a Garmadon minifigure with an actual Oni mask. Um, after three years of waiting for one, it is finally here. Now of course we have got the Crystal King, again, he's not actually an Oni, but I, I put him in this just because of this mask piece which is very reminiscent of one, and I would absolutely love in the future for LEGO to give us more Oni minifigures with this mask piece in different colours. Obviously we've got the classic Oni mask piece now in quite a few different colours that you're going to see throughout this video. And now we've got this new mask piece which, which can definitely work well for Oni minifigures and I really hope they do so and it's not just exclusive to the Crystal King. So yeah, that's why I threw him in here. Anyway, under that of course we've got the Overlord mask, Overlord face, not officially confirmed to be an Oni, but um, yeah, we don't know too much about the Overlord when it comes to that aspect of things. But yeah, there's his torso and leg printing and everything, and his back print. and. Um, yeah, so that is the it for the mini, Oni minifigures released in 2022. Now we have to take a skip back to 2019, and that is when we get to the Omega. Now this guy was released in a battle pack for March of the Oni. It was the only official March of the Oni set released in that wave. Um, the other sets from that wave were just legacy sets. And of course this guy isn't 
technically he's a unique minifigure because the other Oni that came in the pack used the exact same face and torso print, they just don't have the mask. So yeah, the mask is really the only thing that makes Omega exclusive. But it is a pretty cool design there, as you can see with the black mask. This was the first time we'd gotten that mask in black. Of course it was redone for Oni Garmadon later on, which is pretty cool. And yeah, you can lift that up and reveal the face underneath, which is just the generic Oni face that they used for all three of them, so that you could buy multiple of that um, battle pack and build a big Oni army as big as you wanted it. So yeah, and then of course there is the bit of back detailing that you can see on the head there and underneath the sword holster there is some more detailing like so. So yeah this guy was only released in one of them little battle pack set that was exclusive to lego.com so pretty hard to find but it was a cheap set so you could easily mass build a Oni army with it and um, yeah that is the Omega and after him we take another jump back to 2018 this was Stone Harumi, which was released in the Bricktober pack for that year. So it's quite a bit different to Ultraviolet. You can see even down to the mask, the Mask of Hatred actually had a bit of a design change, as you can see, with the mouthpiece there. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. We might as well take a look at these both together because they have the same effect. As you can see, Harumi has got stone all the way down her uh, design, whereas Ultraviolet, it kind of stops at the torso. Underneath there, Ultraviolet just has her regular face, while Harumi has got this um, pretty cool Harumi face that is kind of stoned out. If you take off the really cool stone armor piece on both of them, you can get a better look at their full torso detailing there. And then the back detailing on both of them. Ultraviolet only had one face, while Harumi did have two. So yeah, that is the Stone Harumi. It's actually, I'm pretty sure that is her casual, casual outfit underneath there um, that has been turned into stone. And Harumi does have side arm and side leg printing, which just gives an extra added little detail to it, which is, I think, pretty cool. And yeah, again with the Mask of Hatred in purple there, that um, had a different design to the one released earlier in the year, which was pretty funny. Um, not sure why they did that but uh, I guess it's nice to get two different designs for it. But anyway, after those two, we've got Mr. E. This guy was pretty cool. Of course, he had he was the robot, and he came with the four arms when he has the Mask of Vengeance on. That extra forearm piece does look pretty cool. And the Mask of Vengeance was definitely my favorite of the um, three Oni masks released in 2018. The red look there with all the detailings on it just looks really cool. Underneath that, of course, he's just got the basic Mr. E face, and then there is his basic torso detailing. There was nothing really changed for that when it came to the Oni Mask transformation. It was just the extra upper arm piece, but um, yeah, that was a pretty cool minifigure, and actually our first introduction to the Oni Mask. This was the first mask that we ever saw back in the... Um, seen from the opening of Sons of Garmadon that they released way before any of the sets were revealed. So yeah, after Mr. E, we of course get to the big fig. This is Kilo. And of course, he has got the Mask of Deception there. Now of course, he didn't turn out to be an Oni, which is a shame because this look of a big fig with the full-on Oni mask really does look good. Um, it would have been cool for him to be a full-on Oni and for us to I guess get Oni as big figures to kind of really push home the idea of them being big demonic creatures But yeah, you can see he's got that bike jacket there Taking that off. He does just have a basic face underneath um, underneath the mask and Yeah, again the mask of deception was a pretty cool mask He has got that detailing to the side of this arm and at the back you can see he's got some pins there to um, attach something to his back if you want to but um yeah that is, that is uh, it for kilo now onto some minifigures that don't have oni masks but are still related to the oni and that is of course mistake the other versions of lord garmadon from the show and the other two oni that came in the battle pack so yeah of course mistake as we all know was the oni to kind of introduce us in the show to the oni she was the first Oni that revealed her true form and she was actually a good Oni. Now of course the version of her that we get in the sets is just her regular form. We don't have her Oni form in any physical minifigure 
although it would definitely be the top of my list for a Ninjago collectible minifigure series if they were to ever make one. Of course it does just have that basic torso print there, no back, uh, no back face detailing and then some back detailing there. So yeah, Mistake was exclusive to the, the Ninjago City Docks set. When it comes to Lord Garmadon, of course, the retconning Sons of Garmadon basically meant that every version of Lord Garmadon was an Oni form of sorts, even if it didn't have his Oni mask face. This is technically now every canon version of Oni Garmadon, uh, one of which has got the mask there and the others are just kind of his only form without going into the full powers which I think is a pretty cool way to explain why he looked the way he did um, when he got banished to the underworld rather than turning into a skeleton so yeah, it was a pretty cool retcon and it is nice that I guess now every previous version of Lord Garmadon is now an only form so yeah that is pretty cool and of course we've got Emperor Garmadon his resurrected form here we've got the legacy Lord Garmadon the original Lord Garmadon from the pilots and then the four-armed Lord Garmadon from 2012. So yeah, there is the Lord Garmadons and of course finally we have just got the two extra Oni that came in the Oni Warriors battle pack. They're exactly the same as Omega just with some different accessories. So yeah, same torso detailing, same face detailing and everything as you can see there and the same back detailing. They were just extra Oni thrown in to help you build your Oni army. So, yeah, the more battle packs of that, the, the more copies of that battle pack that you got, the more, the bigger your Oni army would be, and that was pretty cool. So they are just generic Oni foot soldiers, but they are nice to have. So yeah, that's a nice in-depth look at all of the Ninjago Oni minifigures. And of course, the three Oni masks also came in other sets without the um, Oni kind of minifigures wearing the masks. So of course, we've got the Deception, Vengeance and Hatred masks here in the Temple of Resurrection. And of course, this temple was also pretty cool in that you could activate the feature on the back and the roof would collapse. And what you would have there is two eyes. And you can see with the way the cave is designed, you've got a mouth. So the entire temple is also essentially one big Oni mask and that was very very cool at the time. This is still I think a massively underrated temple set. Definitely the best set from the Sons of Garbodon wave um, and yeah that that kind of menacing look of the temple with the Oni mask there kind of built into it as it resurrects Garmadon in his Oni form I think is a really really good look and so yeah this was definitely a pretty cool temple. You could open these up I guess to make the effect go even more. We've got, you can kind of reveal the teeth a little more. But yeah, that was pretty cool the way that was all done and then of course you could raise the roof back up and it would hide the temple's kind of dark secret that I guess it is itself one giant Oni mask. So yeah, overall I think the Oni is a great kind of collection of Ninjago minifigures. They have definitely got some very unique and different designs that all work really well together I think. And yeah, overall, definitely love the Oni stuff that we have gotten so far with all these different kind of minifigures and of course the Resurrection Temple itself which looks very cool when it is in that kind of Oni demon form. And yeah, overall I love, love this Oni stuff and I really hope that in the future we get more of it. More with these older style Oni masks, more colours of those would be great. But also more with this Crystal King style mask. I think that is a great piece to uh, have made and I really, really hope they utilise it more in the future with more Oni type minifigures. So yeah, overall, that's uh, kind of a quick look at the Oni, all of the Oni minifigures released from Ninjago so far. Hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different to what I normally do. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, then let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I guess I can make more videos like this, taking a look at minifigure collections as well. Um, whether you want them on this channel or on the Serpent's Brick Den channel, which of course, as you know, is my channel now where I post kind of daily shorts looking at individual minifigures. We have got, of course, these three at the front are already up on the channel and the others will all be on there sometime in the future. So if you want to take a kind of quick in-depth look at those on the in the uh, shorts page then go ahead over to the Serpent's Breakdown and check that out. But yeah, if you want to see more kind of videos like this taking a look at collections then just let me know down in the comments below and I will certainly look at making some more. So yeah, that's all I've got to say about the Oni. Pretty cool Ninjago collection um, to have. 
And yeah, I will see you again very soon. <laughs>